Hey guys, this is Justin from Two Dudes Gaming. Just got back from the MetaZoo Water Tower, their first ever Water Tower tournament for this year of 2023. We got seven more to go, unless they add more, which I think they said they were going to. And this is Jerry Miller's Mr. Man, as we like to call him, or the Captain. His top eight deck, he ended up in fifth place, taking home a bunch of cool swag. That you can see some the at least the top 32 play mat is in there and a little brief description about his deck we hope to see you in future tower events or future we go to collect the cons and things like that so we're based on the east coast so we can see you at some of those here it is have a good one all right here we are with mr jerry miller mr man or the captain as we call him, or Jerry Wild Wild Mild West. Proudly sponsored by Two Dudes Gaming, making fifth place, top eight. So uh, I have my top 32 play mat because his is all at his house, but I do have his deck here. So I figured we would share it with you. Somebody gave us the idea, so we're gonna run with it. Mr. Jerry played eight water aura, three Ugwugs, a flying manta ray, Three Wallowa Lake Crustacean. I call him Mr. Krabby Patty. River of Time, Mermaid Scales, Loveland, the Crab, the Frog. I mean, right here, four Bandage Men, uh, Water Baby. I'm not reading the full titles of these. If you're playing this game and you're really interested in it, you should probably know what these are for the most part. And I'm at least using one, two, three keywords that are within the card. Two of the Sunken Gravestones, two Smoky Spirits. Uh, we both worked on these decks together. His is the cheaper of the build because he didn't want to spend money on Mania or Mania or however you pronounce it. And uh, he didn't have Ultima Haas. So we built this version for him. I did the expensive version. Uh, we both have the same combo with Smoky Spirits and Lightning in the bottle, which he has three of those, two Absorboras, and one New Year's New Beginnings. Just to get that out of the way. But uh, this was very helpful. This actually helped him win one game in top 16 to get to top eight because the guy was just smacking him until he got low and then had to use him. But it bought, it bought him two turns and he came back and beat the dude. So um, fourth wall items, bandage, obviously, liquid water or whatever it is. Try to remember scuba gear. And he didn't have, I think that was all of his because he didn't have rice in his. But uh, this deck works really, really smooth. It was basically just bookmark off of Water Baby, Bandage Man, Uggs to go in and kill crystals, get absorb your own. Uh, not crystals, artifact essences. I just referred to them all as crystals because that's what it reminds me of. It was a pretty solid deck. We threw in an extra mana ray instead of an extra chessy to just give a little extra support at the high tier things. Cause the main purpose of this deck was to keep it as low and as strong as possible as far as the aura curve was concerned. And it worked pretty smooth obviously. And I think a lot of other top decks had a similar build. I noticed a lot of more people would just run five lightnings or they would run three or four chessies which is all well and good just depends on what kind of deck you were playing so there it is and i'll do the side deck real quick of course you know the draws you really wanted was river of time in your starting hand with the aura fact and aura and man if you get that new year's new beginnings in there it's a nasty turn one two combo which really surprises me how crazy it worked I figured i messed it up here got the uh, play mat here it is uh, just the same play mat that they had for sale uh, with the top 32 on there every round went from top 16 then semi-finals was top eight and I think top four and then second third second first had their own thing Let me throw it back in there uh, neither one of us touched our side deck the whole entire time just to prevent issues with you know swapping cards the judge coming over somebody calling the judge to make sure you didn't build an illegal deck when you swap stuff out 
So, uh, I think it kind of got under people's skin too, because they're like, but if you had a good deck to begin with, in this format, there's not really much side decking, You're, you know, or you're side decking one or two cards. You will also notice that Water Tower is not in this deck, and it wasn't in the other one too, it made top 32. Uh, we tried to keep the curve as low as possible and hit as hard as hard and quick as possible. Yeah, we got hurt with Water Tower a few times, but overall we won more games than it hurt us. And it didn't really hurt us, but like one game, I think it cost me a little bit and maybe him too, but it just wasn't... It, it, yeah, it killed Crab and it kills Bandage Man, but whatever. Two Destroy Auras, New Beginnings, Water Baby, three Dampens, one Chessy, one Crabby, one First Anniversary for uh, Crab and Ultima Ha in case he had issues with it. More Smokies, Toxic Water, same with Ultima Ha, and Water Gun, Kill Water Baby. So that's Jerry Miller's fifth place deck. Uh, pretty cut and dry. I feel like most everybody had a similar deck like that to play. So don't forget to check us out on YouTube. You can subscribe to us, shoot us a like. We're also on Discord. You can go to www.2sgaming.com. You can join Discord. You can check out our eBay page, where most of the time we always run 20% off on there. Come visit us in the store. We run two to three to four MetaZoo tournaments a month. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next show. We're just shooting on being at Earth. But we'll see. Have a good one. What the hell is going on?